Welcome to a day in the life of a software engineering intern at Meta. My name is Tyler. Hey there. And I'm excited to take you along with me today. We have a few meetings and some code to crank out, but first we gotta catch the shuttle to the office. I've grown to really enjoy these morning bus rides. There's about 25 other interns in my hotel, so we all board the shuttle together, and that means there's always someone to talk to and always something going on. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I do try and get a little bit of work done, but usually don't get past checking my email before we start talking again and have to decide where we're going to get off for breakfast. And I mean, that's obviously much more important, right? A pretty big group of us decided to go to Classic Campus today for breakfast. And I love that we can all hang out. I also love that I can get a healthy breakfast if I want. Even if I eat a bunch of dessert later, hey, at least I still had a half a plate of broccoli for breakfast. Anyway, I try to sit outside, but apparently it's too cold for my friends. So we finish up inside and have a pretty good time. Now it's that time, it is time to get to work. So I bike over to my building and start mentally preparing for the day. The office is never really full of people, but today is particularly empty, probably because yesterday was a holiday. I personally like to come into the office every day though. It definitely helps me focus better. And after two years of COVID, I am done with working from home. I'm also just so much more productive at my desk. I have three monitors and absolutely love this setup. I have my big monitor set up for coding, my laptop screen for previewing what I'm working on, and my side monitor for keeping track of email, calendar, music, and any comments on my code. All right, let's get to work. I'm on a full stack product team, but that's about as specific as I can get. What I can share is how I approach software development in general. And at an entry level across the industry, most assignments will be task-based. On a product team like mine, this typically means implementing a small part of a specific feature. For example, if I was working at YouTube, I might be responsible for updating the like button to use a new API. And hey, let's make sure the YouTube intern did a good job by testing out that like button right now. Now it's time for my first meeting of the day. So let's head to stand up with my team. Usually there's at least a few people in the office, but today it's just me alone in this big conference room. In stand up, the team goes around sharing updates for the last day or two, and we try to make sure that no one's blocked on anything. On the way back, I hit the snack cart and just can't resist some goldfish today. I had broccoli for breakfast, so I deserve some goldfish, right? Anyway, it's time to get started on our next task. And I like to approach new tasks with a four-step process. First, I try to understand exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. What's the expected result, and what exactly is my role in producing that result? I'll ask clarifying questions to my manager while I begin step two, exploring the existing code. This helps me discover any potential challenges I may face later on, and hopefully I can discover anything I don't understand now so I can get help early on. I can dive more into this four-step process in a future video, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But before we dive into the next two steps, it is time for lunch. And I'm meeting a friend who I haven't seen in over a year for lunch. He's an old college friend of mine who just started working here full time, so I'm very excited for that. He did not want to be on film, so enjoy some footage of my food and the view instead. After lunch, I have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager and another with my recruiter. This week is around the midpoint of my internship, so we're discussing my performance so far. 
And I really appreciate how much feedback I've gotten from my manager and my peers, because I always feel like I know where my performance stands, even without these specific meetings. Expectations are pretty clearly defined, and we regularly discuss how I'm doing relative to those expectations. All right, see ya. Another meeting done. All right, now it's time to get back to my task. But first, let's get a snack. Okay, now I can finally think again. Once I understand and explore, I plan how I'm going to approach a solution. This means deciding where to start and also trying to break up my task into smaller bite-sized subtasks. This is especially important in industry because peers will be reviewing your code and it's a lot easier to review 50 to 100 lines of code rather than 500. And finally, it's time to execute. This is where I actually start coding and implementing some of those subtasks. I usually eat dinner at my desk and catch up on any emails or messages I may have missed throughout the day. Software engineers don't have too many meetings or notifications, but it is important to understand where your work fits into the team's overall goals. I'll try and read any updates from my coworkers and review some of their code if I can help. Then it's time to head home. I'll grab my trusty herbal tea and bike over to the shuttle. I think we're all pretty ready for a break by the end of the day because the evening shuttles are much more quiet compared to the morning ones. When I get home, sometimes I do a little more work, but more often than not, I'll just scroll through social media and watch some YouTube videos. I do like to get outside for a bike ride or walk every night though. If my roommate's home, I'll ask him, Yo, Kevin, you wanna go bike? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. There's a nature preserve right next to our place and it's the perfect way to unwind after spending the whole day staring at my computer. So we soak up the last few minutes of daylight before heading home for the evening. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.